This is the Caesar of concessions. We're going to do a video today interviewing my youngest son on what it's like to grow up in the family business. Our business has been going for over a decade. So Anthony here has uh, pretty much known nothing but our business. We started from lemonade and kettle corn and then and grew that into a, a concession business and have multiple brick and mortar locations. And Anthony has seen it from the very beginning uh, up until where we are at now. So for anyone out there that has kids and and they want to turn their business into a family business, um, I figured I'd interview the best one to ask what it's like to do it. So we have five kids. Anthony is our youngest. So here we go with the interview with Anthony. Anthony, how are you today? I'm doing well. Good. Are you ready to be grilled? I am. I do not know his answers to these questions, if you can believe this or not. He's looked at the questions and he's thought about them, but I do not know what his responses would be. And I kind of want to know for myself uh, what he's thinking and, and what it's like for him. So without further ado, we will begin. Anthony, what is your earliest memory in our business? Uh, my earliest memory would be we were at a uh, uh, an event with uh, Lemonade, and all, all five of us were there. And uh, I like was like all five of the kids, yeah, or and, and me then and mom. Then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember what event it was, but there were a whole lot of people there, and we were selling the the food for free. Selling the food. Or we for... we were giving it away. What? For we were... some like church event, I believe. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's like your earliest memory. Yes. So we probably didn't give it away for free. They probably paid me uh, beforehand, and then we just gave out the food. Was it like a fireworks thing at a church, or do you remember that? Uh, I don't really remember, but there were a whole lot of inflatables and stuff. Okay, I barely remember that job. Okay, um, what is your best memory of through the years? Definitely being able to like work with all of my brothers at once, and everyone being there being able to like have a work environment with all of us there. Do you have a specific memory like that's like your best? Uh probably when my friend like first started working there and I was able to work with him. Oh, okay. That was nice. Yeah, that is cool. Like when you get older you we can, you know, we hire as friends to to work with us and uh that's always fun to see the boys um and they've all done that. Uh through the years had their friends come work with us and that that's always a lot of fun for them. What is your worst memory? Probably when the customers would yell at me when I would get something wrong. <laughs> okay. I didn't really like that, but it comes with it. Yeah. You got to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The well, they get on you because you're slow or something, or. Uh, like when I give them something they didn't order, or they ask for ketchup and I forgot to give it to them. Oh, or like we make a mistake and yes. then they get on to you. Yeah. Okay, so what is it like as a kid to grow up in a family business? Now, before you answer, you know, our business is, is, you know, seven days a week, pretty much spring, summer, and fall. So we, you know, we, we tend to miss special occasions and, and things like that because that's just how our business is. So what's it like growing up when you're a whole family is involved in this type of business? Uh, when I was younger, I wasn't really allowed to work. When I would be there, I mean, I would be bored because there was nothing I could do. And I wasn't old enough to like handle the money. So I was just kind of hanging out there. But now that I'm like older, and if I don't want to go with you guys, I can stay home. It can get lonely being here alone when you guys are out working for 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. So what else is it like growing up? Like what's it, I mean, I, I guess you don't know anything different because we haven't worked a regular nine to five job per se for over a decade. Um, so I guess you don't know any different, you know? It, uh, is, it is nice that I have like a, like a, I guess a, like a job almost. Like if I need to get money, I have you guys there so I can 
work a couple shifts. Yeah, and, and that's what we do with our kids. We, you know, we don't expect them to work for free. Um, you know, we, we pay them like we would pay anybody else, but they also have to do the work too. I mean, there's no, um, we're not easy on them by, by any means. Okay, what is your favorite part of the job currently? Like, what do you like to do? Um, like my favorite part at like while being on like the site would definitely be working like the register. But if not that, I like like being there with my friends, like I said earlier, being able to talk with them when it's slow. Why do you like working uh, the cash register? Uh, I just like talking to people and I feel like it's like better suited to my personality rather than being in the back wrapping the food or like pouring the nacho cheese. Okay, well, that's fine. What is your favorite, like most favorite item uh, to eat or drink that we have? I really like the blue Hawaiian snow cones. Oh, uh -huh. do you like making them? I do like making them, yes. You do like making snow cones? Yeah, yeah I think they're pretty cool. I mean, snow cones are relatively easy to make and, and for you people um, that want to get into the business, they have a very high profit margin. So snow cones are, are my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite items that we have, and it's good that um, that he likes uh, to eat those because that means that it's probably a good product. What product do you not like and that you don't eat? My least favorite product would be the nachos. Really? I'm, I'm not a big, like, cheese fan, and I've never really liked nachos. Okay. We sell a ton of them, so, uh, you know, that... Nachos is one of our most popular items that uh, we sell out of our um, concession stand, uh, but you don't like to eat them, eh? No, not my favorite. Okay, so what is the hardest part um, about the job for you? Uh, I mean, standing on my feet for my entire shift. Okay. That's not fun. Uh, getting easily distracted when my friends are there and like during like busy parts it's hard to stay focused yeah like they'll be like throwing crap at each other or sometimes we have a spray bottle oh. that uh we use uh for our pretzels you know because you spray the pretzels and then you dip them in uh, the salt or cinnamon sugar whatever you're making and um they have been known to um shoot each other and me uh in a concession stand with water um so that's, uh, that's always fun to have the, the kids run around and acting a fool uh, when, when that goes on. Um, do you, now I, I know Anthony, you know, right now in his life wants to do cyber security uh, when he graduates um, from high school and, and this and that. Can you see yourself like running our business if, if me and your mother decide to, to pass it on to, to one of the kids or what, whatever. Can you see yourself like owning this and doing this for your adult life? Uh, like as a singular person, if I were to do it by myself, I don't think I could. It's very, watching you guys do it, it's very taxing and it's it's hard to accomplish. But I feel like if like I had uh, like family members or like my children to help me, I feel like I could, I'd be able to do it. Do you think it's different for you versus other kids your age to work in a family business versus other kids that go work, let's say at McDonald's, for instance, just to throw that out there. Do you see any differences in that? I do. Um, I feel like if somebody were to work somewhere else, like if they don't like their manager, they get to go home and that he's not there. But if I don't like <laughs> my manager, he's, he's there. Yeah. Okay. Who is the meanest boss? Me or your mom? Uh, mom. Really? Yeah. I'm definitely surprised you didn't say me. I mean, because there's been some times where we've had to redirect, you know, through the years. It just happened, you're a kid, um, and we've had to have some redirection. So I'm surprised you didn't say me. Why is mom the meanest? She's just scary. Uh, <laughs> Like, I, uh, I don't want to make her mad. Yeah, and I don't like to make your mother mad either, and, and that's no fun for any of us. Okay, this has been an interview with 
the youngest legionnaire of the Caesar of Concessions. And uh, we appreciate you watching the video, and hopefully you got something out of us. The Caesar of Concessions, out.